right, it's Mike at the Successo, and in this daily pit stop, I want to talk to you about the pressure cooker. So what do I mean about the pressure cooker? Something that I see in our business, in all our clients' businesses, and that's where, you know, situations occur, and, you know, the, the, the leaders or the managers in the business, they get under a significant amount of pressure, and then they start to sort of make decisions, you know, and these people who are normally calm and collected, they start to sort of act out of character, making wrong decisions, snatching at things. And I want you to take a look at your business right now and think about across it, which is the part that's really hurting you? You know, where are the decisions being made? Look back at the last, last six months. You know, did you make a decision that, you know, ultimately was a short-term snap, uh, which was made out of a pressure situation, or uh, was it uh, done, you know, with considered thought? Um, recently with the business, and it was all about recruitment, and they've got a salesperson who had left, or a, you know, a senior salesperson who had left, and they didn't really quite act quick enough to uh, sort of make sure they'd replace that person, and. Um, then they sort of went through a recruitment process like most companies do, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and then really what happens then is, um, you know, they've got really three candidates down. And in truth, none of them were probably any a good fit, or I'm not saying any good, but you know, they've got certain skills, but none of them was a fit. And that pressure to make a decision, so they take that person in, of course you can guess the story from here, that doesn't really work out that well. Um, you know, there is decisions to be made around performance and underperformance, and then that starts to consume them. Um, you know, every day they're talking about why this salesperson's not meeting quota or not doing what they should be doing. And, um, you know, ultimately that's a hire that gets managed out of the business within six to seven weeks. Recruitment fee, waste of time, waste of training. And that's just one example of making the wrong decision under pressure. So it's all about getting organized. And I want you to look at your pressure cooker situations. If you're a business leader, you know, what are you suffering with? Have you got a partner or, you know, a colleague you can talk that out with and get a second opinion? And if you're looking at your managers in your business, you know, ultimately, you know, take take time out, take five minutes out with them to understand, you know, what pressures that the, the may be masking and hiding. Uh, it's not uncommon um, for managers to feel, um, you know that they don't want to open up because they don't want their superiors to think that they're not managing the situation uh, so you know big job once a week once twice a week sit down with them see where you can help them identify these pressure points learn to flatten out those decisions and uh, you know hopefully then you know you're going to start be able to make a lot better uh, you know sort of decisions that are going to be less costly and get better results for your business so identify the pressure cooker for yourself for your management as always get in the game go to the hustle go make it happen and if you want to drop us a message you can send me a message on twitter at hashtag the open mic with any questions and i'll see if i can get uh, those answered for you or you can do hashtag growth engine and again we'll get those sorted for you as well so wishing you a great week and uh, you know go make it happen